in this world sweets are just tiny little devils right why are why are they actually called you know sweet little sins right now obviously there is no such thing as sins but well they are just a means of control but they are also in a way a bit of wisdom because what a sin would basically mean is doing something to the detriment of others or at least to your own detriment when it comes to sweets sweets are just nothing else than bits of engineered stuff right everything about them is engineered and we kind of all know that the chemicals inside of those are definitely not to our well-being, right? And they also trick the brain to simply make us want more and more. They're technically little legalized drugs, right? Now, obviously, one should learn from the idea of sweets and anything that is meant in this society to keep you dumbed down that instead of supporting those things, one should actually seek to teach others that there is always a better way. Many would say, but making sweets out of natural things is impossible. We are too many, right? Don't believe in this nonsense that, you know, the world is overpopulated. Because the world is far from populated. Statistics say that a planet like ours can easily hold 100 billion people. But you cannot do that in ignorance as we are doing it, right? We have allowed certain things to acquire a lot of power and you know host control over us right endlessly now it is finally the time that people are getting their power back because through all these chemicals that we are putting into our body we are preserving us in you know lower states of vibration everywhere you look it's always some drama it's always some problem it's always some wounded person it's always a death it's always an accident everything is always bad the whole world is bad right but if you go in nature for like five minutes you'll see how beautiful nature is how beautiful this planet is only if you have people believe in something that is technically their reality as i've been saying in previous videos you don't need to focus on a mad you know when you want to study a mad person right you don't need to take into account reality as it is you need to take into account their reality because that's the only way you may understand those and i repeat you may understand those and the point is when people simply live in their own mind that becomes their own reality it doesn't have to be equal to the reality in which they live right but the point is if people are stuck into something that is technically their reality even if it is not uh, aligned with the reality they live in. This can be a big problem, right? And all these distractions, like for example sweets, as I call them the little devils, well, all these don't do anything else than keep you in your own comfort zone. Or, well, let's call it the prison of the mind, right? Because using all these chemicals against us, it's not gonna ever help us. It's just gonna keep us dumbed down. And as a generation, if we create a generation that is worse than us, well, we, we kind of have failed humanity as a whole. Because most likely they will have a harder time making a generation on their own that will be better than them, right? All this being said, remember that there is always a way to simply preserve things, right? You can always create agriculture that can house that can house all the people on the world. But if you look at society, what is it that society has uh, dug the most money on, right? Military technology, obviously, it's I feel the only technology that is hyper advanced. And well, we also call ourselves the human race. What are we, right? Why are we called a race? Who are we racing against? Are we racing against animals? They don't stand any chance against us. We've got all the ways to simply blow our cities apart, let alone, you know, all other animals. Well, yes, insects may survive, obviously, but we also have certain things against them as well. Now, when it comes to creating something that is highly functional and, you know, let's say green in a way, this takes a lot of awareness and sensitivity because what we have invested in the most is a stupid educational system that keeps people dumb uh, well a lot of drugs technically pharmaceuticals which are nothing else than chemicals that keep you lowered in vibration right 
any person who exhibits the slightest sense of awareness, you know, beyond a certain acceptable limit, socially speaking, they are called a mad person. So they be so they need to be drowned in pills that simply will lower them to a numbed down state, right? What else have we invested in the most as a society, right? Drugs, right? To keep again people dumbed down. Music, which keeps people down because mass media plays a very great role in keeping people down. So all of these are just sweets to the brain. It doesn't matter if you eat candy or if you listen to your so-called favorite mainstream med media music, right? Because they both create oxytocin in the brain. They're both the same drug in the end. They are both the same sweet little sin, right? Or as I call them, tiny devils, right? All this being said, hopefully this video was introspective enough. You are appreciated. Take care of yourselves. Verenjan Bohr signing out.